Welcome to another edition of Rogue's Gallery, where we count down the best of the worst villains according to your votes. This week, we're counting down the fearsome foes of the Uncanny X-Men, and competition was hot, as we had more villains to choose from than ever before, and set a new record for most votes cast. This week, just missing out on the top 10 were The Brood, The Shadow King, and Onslaught. Let's start the countdown. Number 10, William Stryker. Stryker was a fanatic televangelist who believed mutants were a curse sent by the devil, so much so that he attempted to kill his own wife and mutant son. He compelled his followers, the Purifiers, to commit hate crimes in his name, but when he attempted to kill Kitty Pride on live television, the nation saw through his bigotry and he was shot and arrested by his own security. Number 9. Cassandra Nova Cassandra Nova is an emotional parasite that is the dark mirror and essentially twin sister to Charles Xavier, whom he destroyed in the womb. She was able to constitute a new body and set about wiping out her brother's life's work, starting with the genocide of 16 million mutants in Genosha. Number 8. Mystique Raven Darkholm is a mutant who possesses the ability to shapeshift her appearance to that of any other person she wishes, and is one of the most cunning and conniving villains in the Marvel Universe. Having lived an extremely long time due in part to her mutant abilities, she is the biological mother of Nightcrawler and adopted mother of Rogue. Number 7. Juggernaut Kane Marco discovered the Crimson Gem of Sidorak, which made him the human avatar for an ancient and evil god, and became the Juggernaut. Once he starts moving, nothing can stop him, and his helmet protects him from the mental attacks of his stepbrother, Charles Xavier. Number 6. The Hellfire Club The Hellfire Club is an exclusive gentleman's club for the most famous, wealthy, and influential members of society. While on the outside it is mostly drinking and debauchery, its inner circle, which often includes the likes of Sebastian Shaw, Donald Pierce, Emma Frost, and Mastermind, aims to influence the shape and direction of the world. Number 5. Dark Phoenix The Phoenix Force, thinking itself to be Jean Grey, was driven mad with power by Mastermind and lashed out, renaming itself Dark Phoenix. Heading into space, Dark Phoenix absorbed the energy from a star, which caused an entire world to die, and as punishment, she was sentenced to death by the aliens of the Shi'ar. Number 4. Mr. Sinister Nathaniel Essex was a 19th century scientist obsessed with evolution and mutation, who made a pact to live forever. Sinister seeks genetic and evolutionary perfection among all things, and eventually decided the best way to do that was with a society made entirely out of him. Number 3. The Sentinels The Sentinels were created by Bolivar Trask to hunt down and exterminate anyone with a mutant gene. Over time, they became more advanced, powerful, and destructive, able to adapt to mutant superpowers more easily and react in real time to the events of battle. There have been many models of Sentinels over the years, including Nimrod, Sentinel Prime, and Bio Sentinels. It was a Mega Sentinel created by Cassandra Nova which completed the genocide of Genosha and was one of several Sentinels which gained some form of sentience and chose to kill itself after learning of what it did. At times, Sentinels have been created for purposes other than the eradication of mutants, such as Sentinel Squad 1, created to protect the X-Men following the decimation, or the Stark Sentinels, created to specifically counter the abilities of the wider superhuman community rather than just mutants. Number 2. Apocalypse N. Sabanur was the first mutant, born in ancient Egypt, who grew to great power and developed a strong belief that survival of the fittest was all that matters. Although he believes mutants are stronger than humans and deserve to inherit the Earth, he is not blindly loyal to his race and will just as easily discard anyone he deems as weak. Apocalypse is known for being flanked by his four horsemen, most often mutants he has granted extra powers to based on the concepts of war, famine, pestilence, and death. Over the years, many X-Men have been transformed into the Horsemen, but the most notable is Angel, who was reborn as Death and later took the name Archangel. Apocalypse was reborn in the form of a young boy, and X-Force was faced with a choice over whether or not they could kill a child with the potential for great evil. Phantom X could, and did, but his guilt caused him to clone the boy and raise him in virtual reality to prove that nurture will overcome nature, and the clone later went on to the Jean Grey school under the name Evan, codename Genesis. And number 1. Magneto Max Eisenhardt, also known as Magnus or Eric Lenzer, was a young Jewish boy when the Nazis rose to power in Germany, and after the death of his family, he spent time in Auschwitz before escaping during the revolt of 1944. His mutant power over magnetism manifested later while attempting to lie low, 
but this caused the people of his village to lash out in fear and burn down his home with his wife still inside. Relocating to Israel, Lencher made friends with a young Charles Xavier, and although they discovered the other was also a mutant, the pair drifted when Magneto's mutant supremacist views were incompatible with Xavier's dream of peaceful coexistence. Committed to protecting mutants by any means, he became the villain Magneto and attacked an Air Force base, but was driven back by Xavier's team of young mutants known as the X-Men. Though Magneto and his Brotherhood of Mutants were fierce foes to the X-Men for many years, he has also been an ally, a team member, and even a leader at times. After Xavier departed for space, Magneto became headmaster of the school and caretaker of the New Mutants, and following Cyclops' founding of the Separatist island of Utopia, Magneto pledged his support and officially became an X-Man. That's it for this week's Rogues Gallery. Keep an eye on Comics Alliance to have your say in the latest polls.